Well, wealth management is the process of knowing how to create more income for yourself, how to manage the money, right? Because it's not just how much you make, it's how much you know how to keep. And the third thing is how do you invest that money to compound your wealth towards the future. See, I believe that you have to learn how to manage your own money and not just depend on others to manage it for you because no one will care about your money more than yourself. And as you know, the world is going through a lot of uncertainties with the European debt crisis and the US financial crisis, which is not even resolved yet. You have to learn how to best allocate your resources in order to maximize your portfolio and minimize your own risk. Well, like I mentioned just now, wealth management really uh, includes number one, knowing how to set financial goals, knowing how to create a financial plan for yourself, knowing how to create multiple streams of income, knowing how to manage your expenses, knowing how to increase your net worth through investment strategies, and knowing how to protect your wealth through the right in insurance uh, uh, packages and strategies. Well, as a part of investment, you have to learn how to invest in various uh, assets, okay? whether it's bonds or, or real estate or, or equities. Okay? For me, I'm more of an equities expert, all right? and that's why I talk more about equities during my, my Wealth Academy program. Well, no one can predict the future, but I can tell you right now that, well, the Jakarta stock market has been one of the best performing markets in the last 10 years. Right? Growing at a compounding rate of about 18, 19% in the last 10 years. Um, doing much better, in fact, in China and even India and the US. But going forward, the Jakarta market is right now quite expensive, selling at a PE of about 19 times earnings. But I still think it can grow further because you've got a very strong domestic economy that's growing very well, as long as you can keep inflation in control and the deficit in control. Uh, but moving forward, I think that one of the greatest opportunities now is in China and Hong Kong because China is still growing at 7-8%, but it's selling at uh, a price earnings of uh, just about 11 times. So it's very cheap, but the China market is still on a downtrend. So when the, there's a trend reversal to the upside, there's a huge opportunity in, in the China market. Well, the US is, uh, in my opinion, still uh, selling uh, relatively inexpensively, right? The PE is about 13 times earnings. Historically, it's been about 15 times. So moving forward, uh, the market is still on an uptrend. So I'm still bullish about the US for now. Okay, you see, the, the most important thing is you want to uh, have um, uh, both in the defensive as well as the cyclical sectors, all right? So like I said, you can't read the future. You don't know what's going to happen next year, you know? But the important is to, is to follow the trend. As long as the trend is up, you stay long. If it goes down, you, you go short on the market. Or you go into more defensives and get out of cyclicals. As of now, uh, cyclicals have been doing a lot better. But the market is getting overvalued in that extent. All right? I look at more value in defensives right now.